Hello students, today in your geometry class we're going to be working on conditional and biconditional statements. So at the end of this lesson you should be able to answer both conditional and biconditional statements. So this is the time where you are supposed to pause the screen and take down these notes. So now we're going to go over them. A conditional statement, aka an if-then statement. A conditional statement gives us what's called an if-then statement. For example, if someone does well on their test, then they will get good grades. Now in a conditional statement, you'll have a hypothesis, and a hypothesis is an educated guess. However, in a conditional statement, the hypothesis follows the if. The conclusion is the ending. So in a conditional statement, it follows then. So if we were to say, if you do well on your test, then you will get good grades. That's an example of a conditional statement because it has the if and it has the then portion that we're looking for. Hypothesis is going to be the portion right after the conditional, which is this piece that's highlighted. And the conclusion is going to be the portion after the then part of the statement, so you will get good grades. Now, the converse is when you switch the order of the conditional statement. For example, here we have if and then. So I'm going to move these definitions a little bit lower really quick so we can have a better idea of what I'm talking about. So, the original statement is, if you do well on your test, then you will get good grades. The hypothesis was you will do well on a test, and the conclusion was you will get good grades. Now the converse is when we switch the order of our if-then statement. So, notice how I did you will do well on a test, and you will get good grades right below it. To do the converse, we're literally switching the order. So, instead of if you do well on your test, it will be if you will get good grades, then you will do well on your test. So we're literally switching the hypothesis and the conclusion. And then obviously at this point, this would be a good time for you to correct the grammar. So if you get good grades, then you did well on your tests. So hopefully that was a clear example of what a conditional statement is and what the converse would look like. So I'm going to move this out of the way really quick. And we're going to look at the other definitions. So we did conditional, hypothesis, conclusion, and converse. Now we're going to talk about a biconditional statement. So hopefully you realize that biconditional statement means that there are two conditional statements. Now, a biconditional statement is when a conditional statement and its converse are true. Then you can create a true biconditional statement. So when using a biconditional statement, you may also see it as if and only if, or IFF sometimes. So, we're going to work on a couple of practice problems later. So here goes. Example one. If you want if you want an iPad, then you have to get a, an A on your next test. So the hypothesis is the portion after the if, so here's your hypothesis. And your conclusion is the portion after then. So your hypothesis in this instance or your conclusion is you will have to get an A on your last on your next test. So converse, here's a good way to start. You start with if, so you start with if, and obviously make sure you have then. So here's if, here's then. So if, instead of saying if you want an iPod, 
you're going to move that to after then, and you're going to move the then, the conclusion, to now the hypothesis. So if you have to get an A on your next test, then you want an iPod. Example two, write the biconditional statement as two conditional statements. So notice that in this biconditional statement, there's an if and only if portion. That tells you it's a biconditional statement. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to separate our hypothesis, which is a line bisects a segment. and line intersects the segment at its midpoint. Those are our two statements. So two conditional statements instead of this one biconditional would look like the following. Here's if, here's then. So two conditional statements will obviously have two if-then statements. Now, we started off the way it looks. We read it as a line bisects a segment if and only if the line intersects the segment only at its midpoint. So the first portion of the hypothesis was a line bisects a segment. The conclusion was line intersects the segment only at its midpoint. That's one of the conditional statements. The other is just the converse. Because biconditional means it goes, the statements would go, would work either way. So that's our biconditional statement. Example three says write the converse of the conditional statement. If Linda does her homework, then she will get good grades. So again, hypothesis is Linda does her homework. Conclusion is she will get good grades. So converse is If she will get good grades, then Linda does her homework. So notice that we literally just switched the order of our hypothesis and conclusion, and then this is when we would fix the grammatical errors. Example four, write the biconditional statement as two conditional statements. Linda will earn her MP3 player if and only if she saves money. So hypothesis, conclusion, two biconditional statements. So here's if. We're going to do then. So Linda, if Linda will earn her MP player, MP3 player, then she saves money. And the other one would be the reverse or the converse and done. Now it's your turn. Try solving these three problems and writing your answers down in your notes. That's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.